All right, hello, hello, hello. I've been waiting to do this video forever. Even open the box early. Got my SD card today with a camera. That's right. Over the gate watch booster box. Fuck here. Yeah. Let's skip me some of them expeditions. How are all you doing today? Yeah, I pre-opened the box partially because I was excited and partially because I don't want to take 20 minutes struggling to open the box in front of you on camera. We're just going to jump right into this because I'm busy today. I had a lot of classes, really tired. I'm really excited. I'm going to turn the light on actually. That helps 0%, that's cool. Let me open this shade up. Foolish Big J here again with you for some more uh, MTG. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah. How's everyone doing today? Everyone good? Everyone excited for Oath of the Gatewatch? I know I am. Chitinous Cloak, Havoc Sower, Storm Chaser Mage, Bearer of Silence. Get these commons in the box. Devoid, one black, one colorless, two one. When you cast Bearer of Silence, you may pay one in a waste. If you do, target from a sacrifice a creature. File it flying and can't be blocked. Well, that's a mouthful of text. It's a pretty good Eldrazi. I wouldn't I would put that in my black blue Eldrazi. Back to school. Back to school means a lot of work. But uh, you know, still got time for you guys. Prophet of Distortion, Strider Harness, Mind Melter, and a hissing quagmire. And a foil searing light. Cool, put that in there, that there. Hissing Quagmire is the man land for black green. It's a 2 2 elemental and has death touch. That's, that's about it. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, folks. And we have some cool drafting stories from Oath. I like to Oath a lot during pre release. It's fun. It's a new, it's a new set. It's always fun in the first few weeks. <laughs> Especially with the juice you can pull with this set. Oh god, it gets unreal. Oh, look at that waist. Put that over there. Box. Pyromantra's Assault, Bonds of Mortality, Thought Hofster, and an Oath of Jace. Uh, the Oaths aren't my favorite. I get to draw three cards, this card too, when I play it. And then Scry X, depending on how many Planeswalkers I have. <sighs> Unless we have a lot of Planeswalkers, the Oaths. Not really, uh, not really what you want to get into. Maybe. If you got, like... A nice Jace deck to throw that in there, but you know, I don't know. The the first effect's not really worth putting it in your deck. I don't think anyway. There's other cards that can fill that slot. Kezul's Tool Collector, Bottom of Insight, and Flare Drone, and a Dark Dwellers. I'm gonna Harvester Troll Foil. Um, Dark Goblin Dark Dwellers, Menace. When it enters the battlefield, you may cast Target and Spell card with three or less your graveyard while playing it. But about an exile it. That one, it's not bad. I used it during a uh, pre release. Got me out of a tight jam once. Could be useful in a goblin deck, but you know, kind of big at five for four four. I don't know. You tell me. I don't do goblins. Uh, da -da -da. But I, I am building a green red landfall deck. So there's that. Getting better. Meandering River, Prophet Distortion, Mr. Judgment, and the Call of the Gate Watch. Which is not bad if you have a white deck. It's a uh, search your library for a planeswalker, put it into your hand, shuffle your library for three. That that's probably the only useful card from the the Oath series. The Oath rotation. That I would I would use for if I had my Gideon. Search for him real quick. I don't know, maybe I'll use the other ones. The Oath of Jace isn't bad. If you're playing allies, it gives you allies. This is another one I'm using. Allied Reinforcement. It's gonna be good. Uh, Reaver Drone, Present Service, and a Vile Redeemer. Sorry about that, guys. Devoid Flash, when you cast it, put a Scion token under the field, basically. 3-3 three, three for 3. Eh, if you're doing like some sort of Eldrazi ramp, I guess. Other than that, don't have much space for it. Just telling you guys my opinions. I'm newer to the game, so I'm just looking at these with fresh eyes. Uh, 
Do, 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 do. That car seems like a lot of jukes can go on. And Bowen's, uh, let's go over there. Reckless Bushwhacker, Harvester Troll, Press into Service, and a, and a freaking Hedron Alignment. Maybe if I get four of these, I'll build a deck. Hexproof, if uh, at the beginning of your turn you have one of these in your exile, graveyard, hand, and battlefield, you win the game. Oh, you can scry one for two. <sighs> I don't know. If I get four of those, yeah, sure. I'll do it. <laughs> but I don't see it going too well. Searing Light is a good card. For uh, sealed waste. This is a good card. Immortalizing Glare. Did I just put those right where I didn't want to? Yeah, because of course I did. No collar, Reflector Mage, and a Dread Defiler. I haven't got a Mythic yet. Jeez. Exile. Oh, it's a Devoid creature. Seven cost for a 6 8. Exile creature target from your graveyard. Target opponent loses life equal to that card's power. That's, bon that's bonkers. <laughs> I can see that card being used. If you can do it right, get up to seven mana. It's expensive, but like, Jesus, <laughs> if you do it right. Oh, I, uh, I discarded uh, an Ulamog from my hand, and uh, you take 10 damage now. Or 12 damage. My bad. Jesus. Rolling Waters. Chitna's Cloak. Nissa's Judgment. I'm still in Haven Outfitter. I'm going to need one of those for my allied equipment deck. Equip. Creatures you get control get plus one, plus one. Whatever equip creature you control dies, draw a card. I drew a foil one of those in a uh, pre release. So. See if I can do this sitting down. Kind of awkward, but I can. Haha. The more I can glare, might get placed at playoff pups, warping whale, dimensional infiltrator, flying flash, the void. Target opponent exiles top card of to her library. It's land. You may return this to your, hand, to your owner's hand. It costs one and a waste. Meh, I'm gonna stand up. Meh. It's kind of along the lines of Bearer of Silence. Maybe I'll put them together in a deck. Maybe that's the way to do it. Did I miss the pile of those? Okay. Sorry about this, guys. I'm, I had seven or six straight hours of classes today. Silly. I'm a little, a little shaky, a little shaky, but I'm still awake. Uh, my computer's coming soon. Make a stand, Grasp of Darkness, Bailoth Pup, and a Seagate Wreckage. Add a waste to your pool. Three, draw a card, activate this, get another cards in your hand, and a foil Sears Lantern. Like I said, no Mythic yet. Maybe at the bottom of this box is pretty juicy. Maybe. I hope, because <laughs> the fat pack I got with this wasn't very great if you look that up. I was hoping for this box to redeem it, and it's not really redeeming it, guys. Sorry, I'm having fun. Kazuo's Soul Collector, Bottom of the Insight, Wall of Resurgence, and then Indoor Jin. Ooh, and a Foil Island. That's a nice, that's a nice pull right there. Set that up there to the side. Whenever you cast your second spell, uh, each turn draw a card. I see him use with, uh... Oh, that Uncommon, that's also red, red, blue. Storm Collar or something? Storm something? Storm something, yeah. Storm something, that motherfucker. I see those two going together well. <laughs> I like that Foil Island, though. That's nice. Cyclone Sire, Krizul's Tool Collector, Bailoth Pup, and Overwhelming Denial. Denied. Four cost, two, two blue and two. Surge cost of two, Overwhelming Denial can't be countered. Counter tire spell. Kind of expensive unless if you're playing two-headed giant, but you know. Removal is removal, even though it's expensive for blue. There's, there's plenty of other cards you can use. My opinion, though. What do I know? I'm just a lowly beginner. 
Essence Depleter, Tears of Valakult, Weapons Trainer, and the Zendikar Resurgence. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one of any color of that mana, or one to your mana pool of that color. Whenever you has a creature draw a card. I like green. I'm a big fan of green. I'm actually building the like I said, green red land ball. But seven, unless if I unless if I can ramp up that fast, not really worth it. And once I get it down, it's beautiful, but getting there? Well, that's your problem. Alright guys, ooh, another waste. Collect those. Harvester Troll, Walk of the Waste, Relentless Hunger, and a Wandering Boom Roll. It's a red blue man land. It's a 1 4 or a 4 1, depending on how you want it to be. It's pretty cool. The man lands are nice. I'm wanting a Nissa. I think Nissa or Chandra, even though Chandra's not that good. In my red green landfall deck, it would actually be nice because it creates uh, elementals. I plan to use um, off them. the Locust Rage. Oh, yeah. Some pretty good shenanigans gonna come out of that. Tranquil Expanse, Visions of Brutality, which is not bad, Relentless Hunter, and an Aldrazi Mimic. When another colorless creature enters the battlefield, you can have this change the, the toughness and uh, power of that creature, basically. So if you have, like, this out, and you play a uh, Kozilek, it becomes 12-12, just like Kozilek. Kozilek. I might have to pause this video halfway in between because my SD card can only record so many, or so big of a video at a time, so. Just throwing that out there. Submerged Boneyard, Stoneforge Acolyte, Press into Service, and a Fall of the Titans. Surge X. A regular cost XX in the fire. Uh, deals X damage to target to up to two creatures or players. Meh. If you can play for the surge cost, yeah. If not, eh. <laughs> Red didn't get much love at all. It's been dying slowly. I think. Unless you do it right. right the landfall didn't do bad, but like modern or like Red Burn, it's not where I want it to be. Red Burn needs to come back, guys. Timber Gorge, Rolling Waters, Mind Melter, and an Aldrazi Displacer. Still waiting on a Mythic. Devoid, two and a Wingding, is what MTG calls it. Exile, or MTG Headquarters. Exile and let a target creature, then return it to the battlefield tapped under his owner's control. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. That alone is pretty alright. And then you can, you can do some shenanigans with uh, target creatures. That could go well for you or well against your opponent. Depends on what kind of deck you got with it. Come on, Mythics. Something. <laughs> Anything. I'm holding out, guys. Cliffhaven Vampire. Cliffhaven Vampire. Make a stand. Yara's Auxiliary. Ooh, there we go. Even though it's like a shitty one. <laughs> Swings to the final word. Seven costs. Five, five. Can't be countered. Flying hexproof instant sorcery spells can't be countered. I mean, a <laughs> wallet text is a lot of good stuff, but it costs seven. <laughs> seven. First mythic's a drunk mythic. Hopefully we're getting covered from that point. <laughs> Anything. Maybe that first mythic was a sign that we're getting into something here. We're getting into the goodies. I need a goodie run here. Harvester Thrall. Malakor Soothsayer, Warping Whale, and Glen Glenheart Calvary. When it enters the battlefield, it's a port six. Whenever a creature you control dies with a one-one counter, you gain two life. No, oh, and there's my foil rare. Jury and Rune Diver. Uh, could have been better. Could have been worse, I guess, but you know, that's what I got stuck with. I've opened a lot of oath. Well not a lot of oath, a lot of the Zendikar returns the battle battle for Zendikar. I've opened a decent amount of oaths so far. I've not seen that expedition yet. It's a little annoying, but uh, yeah, still gives me hope that one day I'll get something cool. Cliffhaven Vampire, Void Shatter, Thought Harvester, Matter Reshaper. Matter Reshaper dies. Reveal top card in your library. You may pay that. You may put that card on the battlefield. It's a permanent. Converter costs three mana or less. Otherwise. 
put a card in your hand. So three for a three two. If it dies, I get to put another three on maybe another three on the battlefield. Could be useful if you're playing like a like an aggro deck. Would be nice. Get a couple of those in there. Replace your creatures as soon as it dies. Screw over your opponent's tempo. Reaver drone. Meandering river. This is judgment and an oath of Chandra. When all the Chandra enters the battlefield, deal three damage to target creature and opponent controls. To the end of end step, if you control a planeswalker, or if a planeswalker enters the battlefield under your control, deal two damage to each opponent. Not bad if you can get a couple planeswalkers in your deck. It only costs two, so I mean, two for a card that does three damage to a targeted creature is not terrible, but you know. Could be better. Alright. Let's keep the train a moving. Let's keep chugging through the curds. Charred Barons, Cinder Barons, Bonds of Mortality, Devour and Flames, and a Ruin of Orin Reef. Ruins of Orin Reef add a waste to your pool. Tap, put a 1 1 counter on a creature that, uh, a closed creature entered the battlefield this turn. Eldrazi deck, awesome, otherwise, meh. <laughs> wow, we're dwindling here. I only got one mythic in this entire pack so far. Jeez. Am I like the most unlucky MTG player? Or even the, the crates I've opened on CSGO, I've, I've, in the last like 60 something crates I've opened, I haven't gotten above a purple yet. So, like, my, my opening skills are rusty or something. Spattle Contortion. Stoneforge Acolyte, press into service, and I crush the tentacles, another mythic that I really didn't want. Six cost, uh, three, or five surge cost, return all permanents to their hand, if, if, uh, crush the tentacles surge was paid, put an 8-8 blue octopus onto the field. Ooh, a second foil rare, overwhelming denial, even though it's not a great rare, I got two foil rares. Eh, take the little blessings in disguise, guys, I mean... <laughs> Can't be too mad, I guess. Second half of this box it definitely was better than the first half. Maybe my next box will be better. Put that a little lower for you guys. Waste. Uh, waste aside, those two there. Allied reinforcements. Storm Chaser Mage was the guy I was thinking of earlier. Tears of Alicult. Corrupt to Crossroads. Another mana fixer. Add a color. I'm wasting your mana pool. Pay one life. Add any color. Mana, she managed to spend it only to cast spells with Devoid. So yet again, it's another cool card for an Eldrazi deck, but not just a pure colorless Eldrazi deck. It can actually have colors in it for it to be useful. Negate to start off with. I've gotten like 800 negates. I'm going to negate some more negates. I'm going to negate your negate to negate my negate. Cyclone Sire. Flare Drone. Malakar Soothsayer and a Captain's Claws. I wanted one of those. A quick creature gets plus one plus oh. Whenever equipped to creature attack, put a one one white core ally creature onto the battlefield with a uh, tap and attacking. Equip one. I'm building a black white ally stick as we speak. And that and Stoneforge, uh, Stoneforge Masterworks, I think it's called, is the other equipment I need. It's gonna be good. I'll uh, do War Cleric was nice in draft. The life gain really saved me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Mardu Allies is so good. Uh, make a stand, Essence Depleted, Void Grafter, Eldrazi Obligator. 3 cost, 3 1. To void when you cast it, pay 1 and a waste. If you do, control, gain control of target creature. Okay, so it's like a take control or whatever, plus a 3 1 creature with haste. So, I mean, it's cool. I would use that in draft. I would use the shit out of that in draft. Especially if it was like my first round pick. Oh, yeah, I'd abuse the shit out of that. Timber Gorge, Flaying Tendrils, Reflector Mage, and the Shifter of Skulls. Three costs, four, three, Devoid, whenever a non creature, non token creature you control dies, put a 1 1. I'll draw these sign on the field. Well, guys, thank you for taking the time with me. I have eight packs left, I think.
including this one, so we're almost there, we're almost at the end. I take a break after this one so I can chain the videos together because, you know, don't have enough space, grasp of darkness, mobilizer Eldrazi ruining their wake, and another Eldrazi mimic. That's awesome. So give me a second. You guys missed nothing in the two seconds I turned that off. Yeah, my, my videos can only be 24 minutes long before they cut them off, for some reason. That's the way the camera works. My camera's coming in soon, so maybe it'll be different. But for now, I'm still borrowing a camera. <laughs> Bought me a Fury, which is cool. Give the Tusk, Devouring Flames, and another Hedron alignment, guys. I'm halfway there. Halfway there to the greatest deck ever. Ever made with Hedron alignments. I'm so done with my life. I'm so done. I'm going to come up with another CSGO video here, maybe later. I'm still waiting on thermal paste to make my computer. That's it. Thermal paste is all I have left. It's starting to get old. Cyclone Sire. Reckless Bushwhacker. Gift of Tusk. Thank the Lord I got one. Nissa Voice of Zendikar. Plus one, put an 0-1 green plant creature token onto the battlefield. Minus two, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. Negative seven, gain X life and draw X cards where X is the number of lands you control. <sighs> Nissa is my my idol, my favorite planeswalker. She's the awesomest. Look at her face right there. I'm sorry, I'm super excited to get that card. It's the only card I've wanted out of all this. That was it. <laughs> Maybe a fetch land, but like other than that. Nissa. Dazzling Reflection is a great uncommon, or a great common. Glad to get all of those. Seed Garden. Tranquil Expanse. Stick Lighter. And I need another one of these for my Landfall deck. And another, or not, Jawa Island Avenger Foil. So, uh, you get to play an extra land each turn. And for a green and a red, return a land to your hand creature gets trampled in a turn it's so a four four for four. I have another one and my deck call the deck I wanted to build I wanted to put two in just to make sure it's good and I'm glad. So I see another um on Mara and I wouldn't want I wouldn't mind one Chandra but like after this I have three packs left and I don't think I'm gonna get it. Might have to break down and buy that one. If I do holy bonanzas. Pyromancer's Assault, Seed Garden, Ino's Blessing, and an Endbringer, and a Foil Relief Captain. That was cool. Endbringer, untap during each other player's own tap step. Oh, six costs, five, five. Tap, deal one damage to our creature player. Tap, two waste, draw a card. Always useful. Alright, what's next? What is next? I might build an elf deck with that that new Nissa. Just just cause. Just cause I can. Oh, I'm way the fuck up there, guys. I'm sorry about that. Cliffhaven Vampire Cliffhaven Vampire. Unity of Purpose, Weapons Trainer, and another overwhelming denial. That's my third overwhelming denial. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a place of those. Two packs left. Thank you guys for hanging on this long. Uh my bad for being boring and new to this whole thing still. Give me a year, maybe I'll get better. <laughs> Check me out, hit me up. I'm always on Twitter, at FoolishBJ on Twitter. Tell me your stories, tell me what you want to know, what do you want to see. Tranquil Expanse, Relief Captain, Wall of Resurgence, Thought Not Seer. There's something to bring this, uh, this back. This is my third of those. Uh, three of the Colorless Waste for a 4-4. Four, four. And you get to see your opponent's hand and discard a non land card from it. But when it dies, they get to draw a card. That is that's value. That is such value. <laughs> Last pack, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Yell at me if you think I'm stupid. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I want to know what the people want to see. That's why I'm here. I'm here for you guys, not for me. Uh, da -da. Let's keep going here and just finish this off strong with a Chandra. Let's, let's put a Chandra at the end of this pack, just, just for me. 
Meandering River, Unity of Purpose, Weapons Trainer. No, but that's not bad. But yeah, it actually is. Because there's no way I'm going to trigger that five color cost. When General Tazi enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an ally, ally creature card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Ally creatures you control gain XX to the end of turn where X is the number of colors among those creatures. If you can pay the five different color mana cost. Oh well. Got four mythics, one I actually wanted. So, uh, thank you guys. Um, like I said, hit me up, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know. Stay foolish.